Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so this video was kind of fun. I was sitting here and I'm like, hmm, I want to do a category video before I go to bed. Um, because I have recorded like I think five and I'm like, I want to do one more tonight. And I'm like, what can I do? And I'm trying to think of like a keyword. Sometimes I'll do that. And I'm like, creepy. I'm gonna do creepy bolo items. And I will tell you that some of these items might give you nightmares. They are creepy. But people are making money selling these items. I mean, they're not like, it's not like things you shouldn't sell. I mean, some people, I think, fabricate stories and stuff, which I don't recommend doing. But um, I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. I haven't really looked at the description. So we'll see if anybody did that. All right. Let's get started. That must be my new thing. Let's get started. And then I keep forgetting if I said, hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. I think I did. If I didn't, well, I just did. All right. Uh, let's start with the first one here. The first item is this creepy Halloween costume vintage snapshot photo. Um, definitely always look, if you're looking at black and white photos and any of them have anything to do, whoops, with Halloween, you definitely want to list that photograph um, separately by itself, not in a lot. Uh, this one sold for $33.89. I have seen them go much higher. Um, but yes, definitely be on the lookout. This creepy vintage eyeball keychain. Creepy, creepy. How creepy is that? This sold for $36, nine bids, and the buyer paid shipping. Definitely a cool item. I probably would have definitely bought that if I saw it. Uh, the next item, just a little different. Uh, it's a mermaid figurine. Um, it's a creepy fish human baby head mermaid. So, yeah, it's like a fish mermaid. It is made in Japan, and I love anything made in Japan. So I definitely would have bought it just because it says made in Japan on the bottom. Uh, this sold for $36.01, nine bids, buyer paid shipping. If you have not seen my video of Bolo's made in Japan, definitely go check that out. Okay, creepy zombie doll, eyes, teeth, cracked skull, face, antique composition. So basically, this is just a very old, beat up doll. Really bad shape. Doesn't look as bad far away, but when you get up close, that is definitely creepy. <gasps> Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Comment below. And what is the orange stuff on the head? What is that? So odd. Anyway, do you guys think this is creepy? Would you buy it? Ugh, not my thing. I would not have that in my house. I would not sell that. Selling exactly as found. See all photos for overall conditions. So they did not say anything like to make you think that it's anything other than what it is, just a creepy looking doll. Um, sold for $49.95 with one bid and free shipping. If that thing was in mint condition, wonder if it would have sold for more or if it sold more being in the bad condition. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below. Here's another one. Vintage haunted composition baby doll. Spirit with teeth. Creepy estate sale find. Okay, so this person is saying that this doll is haunted. And, you know, sometimes people will use those as keywords just to uh, get people to look at the listing, to bump it up higher in the search. I don't know. I don't know if there's rules against that or not. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend saying something is haunted. I, I don't know. It's just weird. Again, I'm not, I would just put doll. <laughs> Um, maybe I would put creepy, I guess, but I wouldn't say it was haunted. So let's see what they wrote. This is a vintage composition doll that I purchased from an estate sale here in NC from an old, large Victorian home. I have been selling dolls and toys on eBay for over 15 years. I sell mostly newer dolls and toys, as you can see from my eBay store. I do not sell supernatural or paranormal items, and I have no interest in that kind of thing. I am always looking for new merchandise to sell 
and I often go to antique and estate sales. I purchased last weekend. She is old and ugly, a bit cute, I thought, but creepy. She has damage to her, but I threw her in with a lot I was buying of other toys. I don't specialize in old do dolls, so I'm no expert on her. She is not marked and is in rough condition. I thought it would be funny to scare my husband with her. And as a joke, I left her in the bedroom for a few nights uh, on my dresser for laughs. Well, I'm not interested in the supernatural or paranormal, but after having her in my house for a week, it's time to let her go to another home. I think the doll might be haunted and my husband hates it and kids are scared of it. So she needs to go. After having her in my room for a few days, I was having nightmares and I never have nightmares. I can't remember the last time I had a nightmare until I bought this doll into my room. I thought this was odd. Also, I was waking up to a heavy feeling in my chest area every morning and would be dizzy. I have no idea why, but after a few days of this, I realized it must be the doll. I think it might be haunted. I got her out of the bedroom and put her in a box and sealed it up. I have been fine ever since. <laughs> the doll has sleep eyes. I have to mention her eyes are creepy and almost look like they are watching you when you walk around the room. You can see from my photos in this listing, her eyes look almost alive to me. Very creepy. She has teeth in her mouth. The inside of her mouth looks very creepy too. Um, her eyes close when she's laying down. She is 16 inches tall. She's wearing her original nightgown. Her body is stuffed. has three marks on her backside and it looks like three claw marks down her back. I didn't even notice this until I went to photograph her for the auction. But I said to myself, they look like claw marks. So weird. She also has dark marks on her back legs, damage to her feet and hands and cracking on the face. You can see in the pictures. This is exactly how I purchased her one week ago. After putting her away, I have not had any nightmares and the dizzy feeling and heaviness in my chest I was experiencing in mornings went away. I think it was the doll. My husband and kids think it was the doll too. So I have to get rid of her. Just having her in the house is creepy to us. To us. I have never seen another doll like this one. And I hope I never will again. If you like old creepy dolls, then this doll is for you. I don't know what else to say, except she will be better in another home where someone will appreciate her. <laughs> okay. So I, I feel like, I, I don't know what I feel like. If this seller like is making that up, they're really good because I do believe that this doll looks super creepy and those eyes look, oh, it's definitely creepy, but, um, I'm going to go in and see other items just because I'm curious now. And I don't normally read you guys the descriptions, but I just had to on that one. And I read it for the first time with you. So I'm going to type in dolls and I'm going to see if this seller has like let's let's do creepy and see if they've done um nothing else came up for creepy in their actives and they only have the one creepy doll as a sold so i don't feel like this person is somebody who is just buying these dolls that look creepy or haunted oops i spelled it wrong and using that in the title to try to get people to to buy them. You know what I mean? So they were probably just telling the truth, but, uh, yeah, it, they sold it for $51 and one cent. So buyer paid shipping or no, I'm sorry, free shipping. So I think she just wanted it out of her house, but kind of a fun little story. Um, reading that and some people do buy dolls and they will fabricate a, um, fabricate a story that's not true to try to deceive or even just create it a story for fun maybe just no harm but again i i would never do that that's just my personal feelings on it but people do and uh but i felt like that lady was just simply i get yeah she said her husband so it is a lady stating her experience okay so paper magic group mask I have sold Paper Magic Group. Uh, they do well. This is a very odd looking mask. It sold for $49.99 with one bid in the buyer paid shipping. Eerie and Creepy. So this magazine, these are magazines it looks like. Um, horror, sci-fi, I think they're magazines. And it's called Eerie. 
And these sold for $70. It's a lot of 12, three bids, and the buyer paid shipping. Mad balls. Uh, so vintage creepy critter monster football, weird, crazy, odd sports balls, toy mad balls. Um can't see what it says. So it's a football and it says mad balls. So I don't know if it's actually a mad ball. Yeah, the theme is mad balls. Brand is weird balls. Either way, definitely a bolo sold for $85 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay. Antique creepy doll heads, mostly wax, sold for $83.99. Yeah, those are creepy. So people probably use these for like props and stuff like that. I don't know. That one, look at the eyes on that one. Ooh, definitely creepy. Oh my gosh, I would not have these things in my house. I'm sorry, but I don't even think I could buy them to sell them because I would be so creeped out. Um, and not that I believe like in all that crazy stuff, but they're just weird. They're just creepy looking. So $83.99 plus shipping, nine bids. Let's see if they wrote anything fun in the description. Nope, antique doll heads. All right, so this is a uh, vintage al albumen, al album, albumen. I don't know what that means, photo. It's round, it's Western, it's creepy. Yeah, it's different. I don't know what they have. They have bags over their heads. Yeah, that's definitely weird. Sold for $90 with one bid. Buyer paid shipping. This vintage copper engraved tattoo metal creepy salvaged ethnic art statue mask. And this sold for $95 and the buyer paid shipping and it had 43 bids. The next item is this creepy magazine puzzle from 1977. It says complete. It's used but complete and sold for $102.50 with six bids. Buyer paid shipping. Okay, creepy clown. Ah, definitely creepy. Um, <coughs> it's a stuffed composition doll. Super weird. Super creepy. 100% creepy. Sold for $107.50 with three bids. Um, he looks like a baby joker. Condition is rough, which just adds to the creepiness. One arm and hand is missing. One eye is broke and one is missing. The three limbs that are left are just dangling 30 inches long. So again, just saying it's creepy, not making up a story. The next item is this antique primitive witch doll paper mache head old woman. Um, I definitely pick up paper mache whenever I see it. Um, it's a great bolo item. This is definitely creepy. Uh, yeah, sold for $149.99. Buyer paid shipping, one bid. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, creepy Horror, O-O-A-K, stands for one of a kind. So I'm guessing somebody made this doll. It sold for $149 with two bids. So I don't know if somebody is like buying dolls and then they dress them and paint them, but definitely creepy. Two of my dolls were featured on the Ellen DeGeneres show in a segment with Channing Tatum on September of 2014. Huh. One of my dolls, reanimated zombie girl, was reviewed on Movie Pilot on February of 2015. Okay, so it says up for sale is a hand-painted, reborn, one-of-a-kind porcelain art doll created in evil geppetto's workshop she's very large heavy doll and let's see including hat she is sitting can but can can stand she is an evil clown she has black wavy hair styled by me in two ponytails with orange ribbons so she's basically just describing it uh, many of the dolls and the other items i create in my workshop are rescued from becoming this is what i wanted to know are rescued from becoming another item in our landfills. Some are adopted from haunted places and others are new. Each doll I create is one of a kind with a unique personality and function. Some for decoration and conversation pieces, other for magical purposes. I have no idea what that means. Um, 
she will be signed on the body by me, the artist. All of my dolls are hand painted by me. No two are ever exactly the same. Okay. So I was not planning and on getting this detailed into these um, descriptions, but it's just so interesting. So see other items. So she's got five available right now. I bet these do like pretty good during like, Halloween time, but you can see here, um, $99, $80, $75, $99. But I mean, this person is definitely, definitely an artist. I mean, again, not really my style or my thing. I, I, I don't really get into this type of thing, but definitely an artist. If you guys like this kind of stuff, she is very, very talented. Oh my goodness. Look at that one. Look at its face. I wonder like what it looked like before. Cause it's got that creepy smile. What do you guys think? Creepy or what? Oh, she does custom repair. That's interesting. Huh. So maybe somebody sent her a doll and had her fix it. I don't know. Definitely, definitely interesting. All right. The next item are these vintage, creepy, cosmopolitan baby dolls. Various sizes, heads as found horror. Oh, look at that one. Its eyes are all rolled back in its head. Ah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Which one do you think is the creepiest? I have got to go with the one that has the eyes rolled back in its head. Ah, anyway, these sold for $200 with six bids. Creepy dolls. That's it. That's all it says. I don't know. Maybe I would sell something like this. I mean that I, I don't believe in all of that stuff, but they're just creepy. I would just put creepy dolls. I wouldn't like fabricate a story, but uh, two hundred dollars. I mean that that's kind of tempting. And again, I would not say that they are like haunted or anything like that. I would just say creepy. All right, vintage creepy lot of twenty three worn magazines from nineteen seventy seven to nineteen eighty three. Horror, scary. There you go. And I want to know, have any of you guys ever sold creepy dolls? And if you did, did you make up a story? Okay, vintage 1960s to the 70s. Uh, Japan wind up car toy with the monsters. 46 bids sold for $285. How cool is that? The next item is this Dawn Post Uncle Creepy Deluxe. I think it's a mask. They should have used mask in the title, right? It's a mask, right? Or is it a, yeah. They didn't even put it in the title. Oh my goodness. Um, Dawn Post. Yeah, that's definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. I was trying to find you guys somewhere where they actually um, like had um, like a branding or something. But this sold for $265 with 11 bids, buyer paid shipping. Okay, two vintage Mattel Thing Maker mold packs, skeletons, creepy crawlers on cards. Okay, guys, this is what it is. They're creepy crawlers, but these are just the, the molds, and they're in the original packaging, and it sold for $338 plus shipping with seven bids. Okay, now there's a little lesson in this next part, okay? Oh. I'm sorry, not that, not yet. We're getting there. So this is a primitive folk art doll, antique stuffed, very warm, worn and creepy, and it has no face. It's definitely creepy. Let's see what they wrote. From an upstate New York estate collection, truly sincere, hand-sewn, antique, primitive doll, leather boot, one missing, very creepy, rough condition, found in New York. So again, no story behind it, just a creepy doll. Make up your own story, I guess. Okay, so here's the one I was going to tell you guys about. So this is a creepy crawler. It's, it's vintage 1964 thing maker, creepy crawlers by Mattel in original box. All right, so I want to dig into this a little bit. And you guys can see the box. And here's what's inside the box. 
Okay. And then here's the glues. You can tell they're not full, but this sold for $56 with three bids plus shipping. Okay. Now here's the next one. Same thing, 1964, an original box. And it's used also. And this one went for $191.50. All right, you ready? Used, excellent condition, complete. So this might have some more stuff in it. Um, the, I'm not sure. But this one sold for $612 with one bid. So... You can see these are all the same and look at the differences in the prices. Now this one is brand new and it sold for $895, you guys. That is crazy. So, uh, six bids. Let's see what they started it out at. $599. That's amazing. Okay, Mattel Creepy Crawlers. I'm going to try something here. All right, let's see. Here are the actives. I want to look at solds. And I'm going to go to highest first. So there's that the the big ones there. What is this? This is a a wallet. Oh, a creepy crawler's wallet. Check that out. It sold for $450. Oh, I'm not a, I like to do auctions. So Let's look at some of the other ones, $93. So anything that has to do with these creepy crawlers, if you can get them for a good deal, uh, they are highly collectible. Like here's just the Batman creepy crawler that sold for 49. This is a case, a metal case that sold for 42. Goop, does the goop stay good that long? Or do they just want it for like the advertising? So yeah, kind of crazy, right? Oh, these are the creepy crawlers that are made from the machine. I'm surprised that didn't go for more. Um, how, how fun is that? Huh. And you know, some of these... Let me do this. Let me go to solds, all listings. Oops. Oh, shucks. Let's go to, I'm like I said, I'm under um, auctions. Let's look at all listings and see what we get. I think for something like this, I'd probably maybe do buy it now or best offer and just list it high. Because there's such a variation in it. Or start at auction style with the, the lowest I want to take. So, yeah. Creepy crawlers, guys. All right. Does anybody think they're going to have nightmares? <gasps> uh, I might. Those dolls were creepy. Oh. Anyway. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, comment below you liked it. Hit that thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Go check out another Bolo video. I have tons of category videos. I have tons of featured seller videos. I have tons of my what solds. Um, usually mine will say I am your featured seller, and it'll say either big money or it'll say bread and butter. But lots of playlists. Go turn it on, a playlist. List and work and listen to me in the background because you will remember more than you think. It is always good to actually see. I prefer to like watch things because I'm more of a visual, like I remember things better. I think if I see it and hear it, but um, definitely listening is a good idea. And not just to my channel, other reseller channels, you can learn so much from YouTube from other resellers. So um, yeah, I'll leave you guys with that. Have an awesome night. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.